Hello, everybody. This is our weekly, I guess it's considered a team chat. Um, not so much a training every single time because we've been doing the booking blitzes and the recruiting blitzes and things like that. So um, tonight we're going to talk about um, income producing activities. Um, for those of you that, that watch this at a later time or on YouTube and don't know who I am, my name is Erin Fluharty. I am a star director for the team exclusively Wickless. And um, this is basically just a weekly, I have at least one every week, a chat uh, amongst our teammates to um, brainstorm and make plans for how to be successful. So tonight is all about income producing activities and two things I went ahead and pulled up and then there was another document that I actually added Shelly and Amanda to, um, but really haven't gotten a chance to introduce it to you all. Um, I also added some other people to it and I'm going to show you what it is on here and then I'm also going to go over a couple of other things. So if y'all were to think of your top three for the day. What are your typical top three that you focus on if you have no other time, but you know, let's say a half an hour or an hour and you got, could you get three things done? What would those three things be top priority for you guys that are here? Follow up. Is that a question or a statement? Statement. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I was thinking about the other two. Um, follow up okay. would be one. I mean, if, you know, if I had no other time, I always have the phone in my hand. So sorry for the crazy hair. Um, so follow up would be my number one thing to be able to do because I can email, text, or Facebook anybody at any given time. Right. On what I'm doing. Um, for the most part, all day long. I have no other, no other suggestions for the other two, sorry. Okay, Shelly, what about yourself? Unmute. Didn't find my cursor, it was hit behind something somewhere. Um, I, I don't know, I've, I've the last six weeks, I have really um, made time to do what I need to. So, so far, I haven't been in a position where I just haven't had any time. And even on the road and traveling, I had two parties going. So, um, yeah, you know, but what um, are your what are your top priorities when you are working? What are what are what would you prefer to focus on first? What's kind of that priority list look um, like for you? For me, it's follow up and it's making sure that I have a new something for somebody to look at or something that somebody could possibly respond to that maybe they haven't seen before. Okay. Um, this past weekend, I had, um, you know, I had put that phishing post out to try to get people to respond to it on my VIP page. And there were actually two ladies on there that just are my friends and they didn't even know what sense he is. So, um, there just try and, try and antics, <laughs> anything I can to draw attention to what I'm doing, to make it important to them. You know, maybe later on they think, oh, I saw something earlier. Maybe they'll scroll back through and look at. So just those attention grabbers. Okay. That, those are great. Both those things are great. The follow-up um, for both of you and then um, using social media, um, that's, you're basically ex expanding your network. And, um, and that's wonderful. Both, and I know both of you are very well aware of how to do both things. Um, so something I want to focus on because I, I hear it a lot and um, I think it's important that we say, okay, well, what are, the, what are the main things? Because most people are saying, I don't have a whole lot of time. I, I've got kids. I have a full-time job. Like, you know, I'm just really busy, whatever it is. Um, so there is this form, well, it's, it's a kind of a planner, I guess. It's called the Daily Power Hour. I don't know if it's backwards or not. Is it backwards for you guys? I can see it. <laughs> it's little, but it doesn't look backwards. <laughs> okay. 
All right, so this is on our workstation and you just can type in um, power hour. And basically it just says, here are two ways to use the daily power hour. Dedicate at least one hour every day to complete the following tasks or carry the power hour sheet with you throughout the day and work the tasks into your daily routine. So I think there's kind of a mix. We, we go back and forth. There might be days where we're, we're busier than others and we have to, you know, fit it in where it's going to fit. There might be days where you get to sit down and say, okay, I got, I've got a couple of hours. I'm going to just figure out what I need to work on. So one of the most important pieces of your income producing activities is to plan ahead. If you don't know what you're doing tomorrow, then you're just going to kind of go in it blind and you need to really say, okay, I need to take the time and write down, you know, let's say your current PRV and what is that goal for the end of the month and what is the gap and then kind of decide, okay, excuse me. Um, what was that? Sorry. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and mute you. <laughs> All right, obviously you guys know that anytime we're on here, you can chime in. Um, but as people are logging in, I think, or hopefully they'll log in, um, that people are muted when they sign in. And that's kind of the, uh, makes it just a little bit easier. So there's no interruptions. So, okay, so, so basically telling yourself, okay, I need to make a certain amount of income and you have your certain goal, right? So whatever that may be, find out where you're at and figure out what the gap is to where you want to be. So um, that's your first, you, you, obviously your plan. You have to plan ahead. And if that means sitting down, like I just did a few minutes ago, I pulled up my Google, um, I'll share my screen. Just make sure I don't have anything incriminating up. Kidding, I'm just kidding. Um, I'll share my, this is my Google Calendar and this has everything on it right now. Um, I just did grocery shopping today online. We picked up our groceries. So I've got all of my meals planned. So I know what we're having for dinner every night. Um, and when it comes to Scentsy, you guys can see this, right? Thumbs up. Okay. So for me, if I have a block of time, like I know in the mornings that there's going to be some time in between seven and nine when the girls will wake up. Most of the time it's closer to seven, seven thirty, And then we kind of hang out. And I know in the mornings they like their time, just like I do to be kind of just quiet and do my own thing. So we're kind of getting into that routine. So I know that I can do some follow-up and I know that I can go in and do some administrative things on my computer. So this is what I'm doing tomorrow. So I'm gonna follow up on all the, the VIP sample packets that I sent out. I know that those are gonna be income producing activities because those are things that I need to do to gain orders from my parties that are currently open. And then, to have more income producing activities on my list, I'm setting up my Facebook parties for the end of June, which I've already done, but I need to pull them into Visily and get them um, set up on there and get them started. And then um, I'm gonna update the Visily template, which obviously it may not seem income producing, but in the long run, it's gonna be saving all of us a ton of time. And so time is money. And that's something I'm gonna definitely focus on tomorrow. And then follow up is key. So obviously, anything that you can focus on where you're going to gain orders from it is going to be income producing, right? So it's funny because on the list here it says follow up. That's the first, um, the first little block, and it has five. Um, kids are making a lot of noise. Sorry, I'm hoping you guys can't hear it, but. Um, follow up, there's five different spots. So it would say, okay, who would you be following up with? And then network, expanding your network. So obviously 
somehow connecting with new people and it has a block of five. So what, what that tells me is, okay, we need to follow up, we need to expand our network and we need to have PRV. We need to be selling. Um, checking in. So there might be a time when you've, you've made sure that your clients are getting their products. You want to make sure that they're getting their products because we want to make sure they know how to use them and that they are using them correctly and that they are physically taking things out of the box and putting them to use because if they're just sitting in a Scentsy box and they're not getting used, there's no use in somebody buying from you because they're not going to buy from you again. They're not going to buy from you for a while if they're not utilizing their products. So you have to check in with your clients and, and that may just mean, um, Hey Sally, I know you just got your delivery. I wanted to make sure that everything arrived as expected and I hope you're loving everything so far. And then maybe I might say, you know, what was your favorite Scentsy bar that you bought or what do you think of the Scentsy soap? Did you open up the bag and take a big sniff or something to that effect? So, um, anyhow. Okay. So follow up, expand your network, checking in, and then sharing the opportunity. That's the next thing. So sharing the opportunity means talking to people about joining your team. And that doesn't always mean, you know, Hey, Sally, do you want to join my team? It just means going on some form of communication with somebody and building a relationship, finding out what their, their niche is, finding out if they would be a good fit, finding out if they have a need for, you know, whether it's a reduced cost um, in product or it's they need money or maybe they're looking for a sense of community or maybe they're just moms that are looking for a sense of connection to the outside world beyond a newborn because that's exactly where I was at uh, seven, six years ago. So, so believe me, there's many, many reasons, and I'm sure you guys know that. There's many reasons people join. Um, so the focus is gonna be to always plan ahead, okay? That is gonna be one of the biggest income producing activities because you obviously have to have a plan to move forward, right? So who here has some form of plan each day for whether it's, um, you know, maybe it's work related, sensory related, house related, personal related. You just kind of fly by the seat of your pants. What about you, Shelly? Oh. You a little bit of both. I can't unmute you. There we go. Uh, how about how about now? Okay, you're good. Um, it, it depends on what I see in my news feed. Um, I've made some connections with other people in direct sales and I kind of poke around at that a little bit just to see where it lead. Um, cause you never know. I've been in multiple different things and sometimes you think something's wonderful and then something happens and it breaks that chain. So, um, I don't see anything wrong with going into someone else's party live and, you know, seeing what, seeing what they have going on in there. So that's been something I've done this past weekend. I've done a couple of different of those. And, so um, now do you plan to do those things ahead of time or what? if I know, if I know about them, I'll plan ahead. Yeah. Um, like this weekend, I knew of one yesterday that was starting at four o'clock. So I just popped in there and, bought a piece of jewelry and made some comments and made a connection, made a friend. Turns out this girl, she used to be a, she, she was a zombie on the walking dead. She's really a cool person. <laughs> wow. So, you know, you, you meet people and you find out these things and she's a cancer survivor. And, you know, there's just so many incredible people out there. And I know that if, um, if you do it the right way, you make friends on the right level, then, you can create something bigger. You never know who they will know. Oh, well, I know Shelly, she does Cincy. And actually she brought that up on her, on her, her live yesterday and another friend of hers. So, 
you just never know. I mean, building relationships is just really important. And I'm just trying to find my way through social media, find out what works for me. And I know that I need to build my friend list. So what better way to do it, you know, than, and she actually did a party for me last week. She was one of the good parties. So, you nice. know, you just kind of, so you just kind of go from there and, and build, plant the seed and watch it grow. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So, um, Sylvia and Kimberly, you all just joined in. Um, so I just was asking, um, about planning. So, um, if y'all want to chime in, you're welcome to, if, if you, you know, want to get situated, it's totally fine too. Um, but talking about planning ahead for your day. So obviously that, that isn't specifically something that you're going to be doing to get income, but in the long run, it's going to be a time saver, which time is money, obviously. Right. So, um, and planning out things like the Visily template that I have made for each of our Facebook parties and being able to utilize that and you all change it up as necessary. And so that is a time saver, which to me is money. And um, for all of us, it encompasses all of us to be able to save time. And, um, and that goes hand in hand with um, using, you guys can use Visily for many other things um, besides just posting your parties. It can post on your own wall. It can post on your future team pages. Um, it actually can, you can utilize it for email campaigns and texting campaigns. Um, those are just things that you'll just have to pay a little extra for, but, um, but it's, it's pretty incredible. So time equals money. So anything that you can do to save time, um, what, even though it might take a little bit of time right now, it's kind of like saying, when you're recruiting somebody, and let's say it's a host flip, um, you know, giving them a party now is you're giving up something right now, but this is going to be future income that you're holding out for because you expect them to do more. So, um, so I hope that kind of that analogy, right? That analogy kind of makes it easier to understand. So, um, okay. So power hour. I was talking about this page, Kimberly and Sylvia, since you weren't here, I wanted to just kind of recap this. This is on our workstation. It's called the Daily Power Hour. It basically just tells you what follow-up, network, check-in, sh uh, share the opportunity, um, talking about behaviors, you know, improving yourself, um, prospecting. We didn't get to prospecting yet, um, but basically utilizing this as a to-do list. And on the back has um, a really nice layout. And this is literally something you could print and have one each day and keep it in a binder and never have to purchase a planner or anything. This is just what you do and easy, right? So what's it called? What's it called, called again? Daily Power Hour. Okay. Yeah. So basically it's saying um, you're going to dedicate one solid hour to getting all the things done on this list, or you're going to carry this around throughout the day or, or come back to it throughout the day and complete those tasks as necessary. So, um, okay. So we're talking, we want to know where we're at for in need of PRV, right? Cause we obviously that's your income. So we know sales or income. And so you want to focus on your PRV first. We want to say, okay, what are the P, what are the PRV producing activities that I'm going to do? So following up is first, right? And both when it was just me and Shelly and Amanda, both of them said follow up was the first thing that they do on their priority list. And that is number one, because you're always, I always call it your low hanging fruit, right? That's my kind of my, my go-to, um, uh, statement is your low hanging fruit are going to be the people that are already purchasing from you, the people that are already supporting you. So you need to go and do your follow up. And that might be a huge list. Um, it might be a small list. It might be a non existent list right now because you just did all the follow up. So the next thing is going to be expanding your network. So how are you going to do that? So expanding your network is there's so many options out there. So 
one of the things that I have done, I'm sure that um, all of you that are watching this, maybe, um, maybe just the ones that are here live, maybe know about um, just posting on common ground um, or common bond groups or mom swap groups or yard sale groups. Those are the things that I have done and I've seen success in. And um, I actually really liked the idea. Um, who was it that said it the other night? Um, Wanda. Wanda mentioned it last, um, one of our newer teammates, she actually went on to a yard sale swap page, mom type page, and just basically said, who's interested in earning free and half price Scentsy? And so basically leaving it like that as a blanket statement, when I have used, um, I have Scentsy goodie bags, who wants one? And those are really great statements that are going to, um, uh, get engagement, obviously, because people love free stuff, right? And, um, and that's going to give you the ability to network with new people who you probably wouldn't have met otherwise, especially right now, uh, during the pandemic and, um, not really, um, socializing and, um, not being out in the public, um, very often. So it's a really great way to meet people and add to your network. So this would be what I would do. I would put a post out there for goodie bags and I've done this multiple times and I have done a YouTube video for this. So if you are watching this or, or watch the replay, it's on the YouTube channel for us. Um, basically just expand your network with goodie bags and you post on a swap page or a yard sale page and um, just say you're offering 25 Scentsy goodie bags to the first 25 people who comment um, who would like one. And I have used a Google form for this so that it obviously, all of their information loads into an Excel spreadsheet and that allows me to make the labels super quick, super easily and super quickly. And so not only am I growing my social media list because I'm gonna add them all as friends, but I'm also growing my master list. So Right now, I was talking to Amanda and Shelly before we got started that I have a free starter kit um, because I have a hostess, host exclusive kit that I can give away to somebody who's interested. And I started making a list of people. I went back to my list and, um, you know, I met some people recently that I wanted to talk to. I have like eight people on a, a post-it note. And so I'm slowly going through this list to offer it because otherwise I would have just spent the host rewards on myself. And obviously, yes, I would absolutely love some free and half price product, well, free private product. I did use the half off stuff for myself. <laughs> but um, anyway, so those there's been some people, pretty much everybody on this list, at some point in time, I found them because of Facebook or word of mouth from people I met through Facebook. And so something that, um, uh, and I won't go into crazy detail about this because Jilly Sue is doing, um, did a really great job of explaining this. But um, so something that I have uh, kind of taken, um, taken the leap to do this, it's pretty in, in, in depth follow up system that um, I'm really excited about is including an opportunity to say, how did we meet somebody? Yay. Okay, so how did we meet? This is a name. How did we meet? Phone number. Are they part of the club? Are they, have they hosted? Have you asked them to join? And then keeping track of their orders and keeping track of how we're contacting them, what kind of happy meal they're getting. So um, this is something that's taken some time. I pulled everybody from the last year. I already got crap on it. Dang it. <laughs> um, of course. I have children, so there's stuff on this plastic piece already. So anyway, okay. So if you are looking at something and you want a system, um, there are multitudes of systems. I will actually add to um, the playlist that I have for follow-up on my YouTube. And I'm gonna add Jilly Sue's program because, or uh, system, because I really, really like it. And, um, but I won't go into detail about that because she does a really good job. So, um, 
anyway, so you need to have some type of follow up system. And I, I'm telling you guys, if you do not have something in place right now, you need to stop what you're doing and you need to make it happen because the longer you wait to have some type of system in place, the farther behind you're going to get and the more opportunity for loss of clients is going to present itself. I promise you that because um, I remember years ago before I even started doing any kind of follow up and you'll, you can ask many, many um, consultants when they started doing follow up. It was years, years into their business typically. And um, you don't want to do that. You don't, you don't want to be one of the consultants that never did follow up and lost hundreds, maybe even thousands of clients because the statistic is the, um, which what was I going to say? 70% of our clients purchase one time, one time only from us. And so what we need to do is stay on top of them, stay in contact and get them to be buying more often and not just one time. So follow up is always going to be your first source of income, your income producing activity. And that means um, Facebook messaging, emailing, texting, phone call, whatever you guys do to follow up with people, set that in place. And um, that's going to be your number one. Number two is networking. I've told you guys, uh, I mentioned the idea of joining groups on Facebook, um, setting up friend lists. I went over that. Um, in a previous uh, training talking about expanding your network and um, setting up friend lists on your Facebook. If you don't know how to do that, you can watch the video or you can just Google it and um, it allows you to set up a list of people. Let's say they're all your prospects. Your, let's, say, let's say you pick 10 prospects in a month and those are going to be the 10 people that you want to see on your news feed every day and you want to comment and like and that type of stuff. you want to interact with them so let's say you put those 10 people on your july prospecting friends list and those are the you're going to go to that little list every single day and you'll be able to see just them um on facebook okay and so you'll be able to comment you'll be able to like you'll be able to have some type of interaction with them and that will, that will gain their trust and, um, and give you the ability to have those conversations. So that's going to be a really great way to network. Um, network can be talking to people and it can be expanding your network. So growing your list. So there's a little, there's, there's not a big difference, but it's a little bit of a difference. Your check-in on your power hour is all about checking in with people, um, finding out if they like their product, right? So we just were talking about that a few minutes ago, just explaining to you all the idea behind checking in is going to be um, making sure they're using their product, make sure they're, they're educated in how to clean out their wax, um, educated in how to um, make sure they're cleaning their dishes, making sure they're cleaning out their diffuser. Um, by the way, Amanda, I vacuumed out my wall fan and it worked, it got all the dust out of it. So um, something that uh, I know that you and I've talked about, when a, a wall fan gets really dusty, you can offer the idea to vacuum, you can vacuum it out and it will work. Um, you could probably even blow a blow dryer through it or blow the vacuum air through it and it would work um, from the bottom. Okay, so there's just really fun little tokens of information call them golden nuggets you can share with your clients. And that gives you a reason to check in. Okay, um, sharing the opportunity is gonna be huge because obviously we know that that's residual income, right? When you have somebody join your team, you're paying for, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Your, your what was I trying to say? When you have somebody join your team, the the sales that you're giving up, you think you're giving up because they're taking, you know, those sales away from you. 
you're basically saying, okay, I'm giving up one month of sales and I'm gaining a whole lot of opportunity in the future. So that's what you call re residual income. So, um, so you have to recognize that when people join your team, that that money that you make from your teammates is going to continue to grow as long as you continue to coach and mentor your teammates um, and making sure that they are successful. So, all right, so what are some questions so far? Because there's something I wanna show you guys, but I wanna make sure that I answer any questions before going forward. Does anybody have any questions so far? That Facebook group thing, do you have a video on how to set that up? Group You're talking about having that list of people that come up every day that you can click on? Yeah, it's called a friends list. So um, you can actually just Google it um, or put go into your um, into your front, um, it's on the left hand side of your Facebook screen and you just scroll down and it says friends list. And, um, yeah. and I have a lot of friends on Facebook. So you're talking about just using all your friends. That's your list. Or no, making no, you'll, so, you'll see what I'm, you'll hear. I'll, I'll show you real quick. Hold on a second. Okay. Okay, on Facebook. Yes, yeah, so when you're on your Facebook and you go, there's a this place that says explore. If you hit see more. I don't, mine doesn't look like that. Okay, are, you on, I, are you on a desktop or laptop? I don't have a desktop. I have my phone and my iPad. That's all I have. Okay. Well, when you pull up your Facebook, you'll go to the you go to your your um profile. Okay. Oh, no, go to the three lines on the right hand side at the bottom. Okay, got okay. it. And then go to friends. Uh, okay. Um, maybe not. I don't know, that might need to be something that you'll need to Google. Um, I'll, because I'll do. Oh, wait, here's one that says sort. Yeah. It's, no, that doesn't do it. I'll just Google it. I don't want to take up your time. I'll just it's, Google it. It's okay. Um, create a group. That's a group. Nope. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't know from when it's just mobile. Um, but yeah, you should be able to... Um, when we're off of here, I'll see if it's on my my iPad because it okay. may show up on my iPad. Okay. Yeah. So you just basically go to friends list and then you create a list and that's where you can add. When I think I actually did a video, um, if I'm not mistaken, um, you would just you just need to like take a look at my um. Okay. I video, will at the YouTube channel. Okay. Sorry. Uh, no, no, no. It's okay. Um, I'm glad you asked. So, um, okay, so the, we went over the daily power hour. This is if, you know, if somebody needs like really true, like planner situation here, okay? The next thing that I just have started doing for myself and I really, really like it, and I actually got it from another leader and um, I have added some people to it and don't feel like you're, you know, you can't be part of this if, um, uh, let's see, let me get in here. If you are not part of it, um, I'd love to add you to it because it's a really great way to be accountable to everyone that's part of it. 
So, um, so there's just a few of us in here that I've added. And, um, and again, this is just an invite. I can send it to you on Gmail. Um, and as you'll see, it's got every day of the week. And um, this is for last week. So I actually started this on Tuesday. Carrie and I did um, these. And basically it says, um, plan your day. Then it has personal development. And then it has affirmations and goals. Use your product. Connect with customers. Expand your network. Product invite number one. Opportunity invite number one. And then all of these blue stories are for Facebook or for Instagram. So these are gonna be where you're gonna be sharing your day to day. Um, so this is your family. This is a fun post. And there's business. So that can be like the Marvel stuff for, from today. Fun might be you're at the pool with your kids or you're walking your dogs. Um, family is gonna be, again, something with your kids or your pets or your husband or wife or whatever. Um, engage is gonna be a place where you might do a poll or um, just asking a question in general, getting some type of um, response. And then um, on the CTA is call to action. And that's gonna be basically somebody maybe filling out a form or again, answering a poll. Um, and the social post is just posting on Facebook or Instagram. Obviously recruiting and sales are self-explanatory. So now as you go throughout your day, these, this is a really, really, really great way to keep yourself on track with doing something every day for your business and keeping yourself accountable. Um, so I would go through here, and you guys, I'm not perfect. I'm not doing everything every day, but I am progressing to that. And my... Um, I have an average dollar sale. Carrie's got a great average dollar sale. We're both, um, you know, showcasing the, um, that we're on live, going on live calls, showing up. You guys know showing up, you go up, right? Um, and then basically points, the, the points that you get for um, your day-to-day -day tasks. Now, if this isn't something you guys want to do, it's totally okay. Um, and anyone that gets on here that is uh, uh, not, not within our organization or not um, part of our team group where I can easily just share this, um, I will post a Google Drive uh, share link in the YouTube so that you guys can, um, can go ahead and just steal this for yourself. Um, I did go ahead and this originally only had a few lines on it and I went ahead and just added a whole boatload. So there's plenty of room <laughs> for every one of us. Um, if you're interested in being um, included on this, um, please just let me know. Uh, it looks like um, Carrie and Amanda, um, I don't know how to look at the other people in here, but anyways. So it looks like Amanda's on hey. there. I see you. Yeah. yeah. Carrie? So I, if you look at the bottom, I added this week. Can you yes. hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? I can hear you. now okay yeah am I still breaking up oh, okay so if you look at the bottom there's two tabs one for yeah. last week and then the current dates for this week yes down at the bottom yeah keep going see right there it says yeah I know so I added that this morning yep perfect 
So that way you can kind of go back and look to see, you know, what, what you did last week. Because none of us can remember that. <laughs> that is true. Very true. <laughs> so I saw that you did that and I was very pleased. So I thank you for, for stepping up and just doing it. Yeah, well, it helps me too because it, you know, keeps me, keeps me on track. I can tell you this, this, this right here has helped me to, when I wake up in the morning, I know exactly some of the things that I need to do. Right. I mean, even though I've been in it three years, you still need to, you know, still need to know what what are the proper things what are the things that are gonna help me progress and i have seen just in all last week and and you know of course today or the weekend or whatever but the difference even in your confidence mm -hmm. you know and so i don't know all the all the um the newbies on here you know, just, you know, note to self that it is something that could help you each day say, okay, what are my goals today? Right. What am I going to post? What am I going to post to, um, to my Facebook or my Instagram? So people see that I'm a, a Cincy consultant, uh, exactly. you know, what, Am I, am I going to send out happy mail? Am I, am I, am I going to, you know, say, does somebody like pink or purple? You know what I'm saying? Like, Hey, I mean, Charmin or the cheap stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like you just get them engaged. I mean, heck, everybody needs something uh, yeah. right now because everybody's home. Everything okay? Well, y'all hear, hear me. Y'all can still hear me? I mean, it can hear me? Okay. So anyways, because, you know, there's some times where I'm like, what am I going to do today? Like, honestly, what, uh, I mean, am I just going to sit around and try to post something on Facebook or am I going to try to reach out to people or, you know, it just helps you keep track of what you're doing. And so, yeah, that's my two cents. No, I appreciate it. But you don't have to do it. Believe me. No, no. And you don't have to do it, but I will tell you it is, it keeps the consistency. If you're looking for consistency, this is consistency to a T. Yep. And that's one thing that I am so working hard on is consistent with everyday task. Mm -hmm. Yep. I agree. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> You're fine. Um, I think it's really important that we acknowledge that, you know, there is some inconsistencies in our business and it's, it doesn't mean that we're not, you know, great at what we do. It's just, there's things that we could, you know, make changes with. And so when I saw this and, and it's Kimberly Polito, she, if you guys know her, um, she's a big YouTuber. She's really great at social media. She's a really great leader. And, um, and she shared this and I was like, this is, this is a game changer for so many of us. So, um, so anyhow, it is available on our Google Drive. Um, so you may be able to just go onto our Google Drive link and pull it up. Um, but if you cannot do that, um, just let me know and I will send you the link for it. And um, there was, there's a couple things in there that I wanna kinda just touch on. So the personal development is, anything, anything that's helping you grow, whether you're reading a self-help book, you're listening to an audio book that's like, you know, helping you, you know, with your business or, or 
um, mentally or, um, you know, just getting organized, things like that. Those are, those are personal development things. Right now, you guys are going to be getting um, points just for showing up for this. So, so if you were to put your name on here, this is, sorry. So basically just um, live calls. So I'm going to go ahead and put 10 points because I'm here and 10 points because Carrie's here and 10 points because Amanda's here. Oops. And 10 points because Shelly's here. And then we'll put Sylvia. And da 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 da. You see what I'm saying? So you just put your 10 points in. And I know that I'm not sharing the screen. I just realized that. But I know you guys get the drift. So that's that's what I'm saying. When you when you say, okay, what are the what are the priorities? And literally you could sit and get this done and you'd be great, you'd be set for your day. You could concentrate on other things. Now, obviously there's gonna be things that aren't gonna be listed on here. It's gonna be closing parties. It's gonna be getting orders. Um, it's the follow-up is not on here. Uh, so those are gonna be some things that you're gonna, I mean, we can tweak this. We need to add to it. Um, that might be something we do as a team to say, okay, what, what's working and what doesn't work and what makes sense and what doesn't make sense on here. So the other thing is the affirmations and goals. So you can, you know, be um, really into affirmations, saying things out loud, hoping, you know, expecting them to come true because you're putting them into the universe. Um, you might be a, a goal setter. You might like to just write things down and maybe make a vision board and have those things up. If that's something that, you know, attracts you um, to whatever, whatever the affirmation or setting goals, I think it's definitely something you should be doing every day, um, especially for, uh, for those of us that are, you know, um, maybe, I don't know how I want to say this. For those of us that have a hard time with confidence, have a hard time with, um, you know, feeling like we're, we're good enough or feeling like there's, um, feeling like we matter, you know, so it's really important for us to, to put it out there that, you know, the, those small things like, you know, I, I'm a great leader or, um, people care what I have to say, or, um, I'm going to have a really successful week or, this week, I'm going to get this done, you know, and, and putting it out there and saying it and then writing it down and making it happen. That's an affirmation slash a goal. So that's how you can um, kind of understand uh, these columns. Connecting with customers, you obviously know how to do that. Expanding network, um, you know, we talked a lot about that. Product invite is going to be when you um, are talking to someone and let's say they use Luna in wax and that's you that's the only thing you've ever been able to get them to buy okay they, they only love Luna wax well let's say you send them some Luna washer whiffs that's a product invite or you say hey can I put this in the mail for you or hey here's a link to all the things that come in Luna right that's going to be an, a product invite. And then the opportunity invite is going to be something like I just mentioned a while ago where I have a $500 party, I'm getting ready to close it, and I have a few people I want to offer this free kit to. And um, you get on your list, and I'll tell you exactly what I said to them. Uh, of course, I deleted that one. <laughs> I have a tendency of just deleting things. Um, hey girl, I know we've talked about this in the past and timing wasn't right, but I have a free starter kit with your name on it. No strings attached. Would you, would love to see you join my team because I know how much you love Scentsy. And that's it. That's all I'm writing to them. So, um, if I don't hear from this girl soon, I'm just going to say, what do you think? It's how I got the other girl's attention to tell me, um, she wasn't, um, interested right now. Um, so I've got one, two, three, four, five more people to, to reach out to, hopefully being able to give away this kit. Um, and so, okay, so far, now that we've gone over those things, 
What questions does anybody have? Anything? Raise a hand. Who likes this graph idea where you're checking things off day to day? Yeah. Okay. All right. Awesome. Good, good, good. Okay. So, um, so Shelly, I believe I sent you an invite. Amanda, I know you're already on there. I could see you moving around. Um, again, it's part of our Google Drive. Um, it is just under, pretty sure it's under new consultant. Nope. Maybe I just put it under my quick access. Okay, so I'll just, um, I'll make sure it's um, available for everyone to use. Okay, the only other thing I wanna mention is that um, I put this on um, our Google Drive. Um, I don't know who did this. I don't know who put this list together, but it's a really great list. It um, talks about various Sensi tasks back in front, you can print it. Um, it is under, new consultant, nope, um, team training. It's under team training. Okay, so it's under team training, it's just called Sensi Tasks, and, um, and basically it has what you would do on the first, what you would do on the fifth, the 10th, the 15th, the 20th, the 25th, and the 30th. Now, there's probably a ton of stuff on here that I don't even do. Um, let's see. I'll tell you what that is. Um, PRV club photos. I don't make those. Um, monthly team meetings, I do those. Um, work Maven. I really don't do that. I do my own follow up. Um, anyway, you get the drift that basically there's going to be a lot of things on here that aren't going to pertain to all of us, but the things that you want to pick and choose, um, would be beneficial for sure. And this will help you to, um, this will help you to keep track of things that you need to get done. Um, and so if this is better for you and you want to copy it um, into your own um, desktop or iPad or phone or notes or whatever, and this way you can just highlight it if you want to print it every time. What are you doing? My kids. Anyway, okay, so it's almost eight. I don't want to keep you all any longer, but um, I would like to know how you feel about this training. What, what were some key components that you found value in or you want to incorporate into your day to day? I'm going to have to go back and rewatch some of it because I got a phone call kind of right in the middle and I had to get off for a minute. So I'm going to have to watch again. Is that going to be possible? Yes, it's being recorded. Okay. I do need to work on all kinds of follow-up. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, it's important that you're here and you, when you show up, you go up. So glad you're here, Sylvia. Thank you. Okay, uh, Shelly or Amanda or Carrie, do you guys have any um, any input, any pieces of the like, puzzle that? I like the, the, the charting, the different ways to organize and set my day up mm -hmm. because I can even use something like that to look ahead a couple of days, especially when things happen and change. So, you know, you can really track your activity and maybe start incorporating some other things then visual is good for me, hands-on. So yeah. I like that. And I like it because I, I think it's healthy competition. I think it's, oh my gosh, like, oh, Carrie's, Carrie's gaining on me. Oh, Shelly, 
Shelly's, she's got more points than me. Like I, I, like that's how I am. Like, okay, I got to do better. I'm, I'm slacking, you know? Um, or I might say, you know, fantastic job, Carrie. Look at your average daily sales, like insane, amazing. At the end of the week, you know, you look at things and you're able to, um, document, I mean, you're, they're documented. So it's easier to say, what should I be recognizing as a leader? And this could be going forward for you guys to use this with your up and comers, you know, and, and know, okay, these are the, the tasks that are important that I'm doing. And I'm going to make sure that all my, my teammates are doing the same or something similar. And so utilizing this specific chart and checking things off, even if you want to pull it into your own to, um, you know, to change it or anything, um, I definitely still recommend coming into this one and um, documenting, um, excuse me, every day so that you, um, so that you can show us and, you know, in yourself how, um, how consistent you're being. So, um, so I, I'm, I'm happy that that was something that was um, of value for you. I know I really like it a lot. Okay, well, uh, Amanda, did you want to chime in on anything? Do you have any, any? Okay. All right. Okay, well, um, let me look at something really quick. Just one thing. Let's see. Uh, this our next. Wow, is this really the last, the last call of the month? Oh my gosh. Okay, I need your feedback. I need everybody here to tell me something that you'd like to incorporate or have on the, the chopping block, I guess. <laughs> for upcoming training because um, I need to know what you guys want to learn about or want to know more about. Um, and if I don't know about it, I want to be able to train myself and then be able to train you guys. So, um, so what are some things that, that you all would like to, to hear more about? I would like to, um, understand of course I'm fairly new in the game I don't know where you guys are with your journey but um I would like to learn the workstation a little better and know what those little details are and what to pay attention to the most and um because you can kind of tell as the numbers grow in there where the importance lie but I would like to know a little bit more about the workstation and how that benefits me and my business Okay. Okay. And my, and my team and my team as well. Yeah. No, I love that. That's great. Um, anybody else want to chime in? Please don't hold back because I need to know. <laughs> I think, I think I did a poll not too long ago. Um, go into our group. Um, would anybody like kind of more of a in-person, step-by-step, how to do Visily? Yeah, okay. Because I, I haven't really done anything since I did the tutorial, so um, that might be helpful. Um, are you, who, okay, so the ones that have been attending, um, booking blitz, recruiting blitz, keep, keep up with those. You guys like those good things, bad things? Yes. Okay. I like the, I like the recruiting blitz. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to keep doing that monthly. I feel like that's like really good. Um, especially for me, it's keeping me accountable too. Um, 
All right. Mm. All right, so some of the things I mentioned, uh, recruiting, what do I say? New customers, how can I grow my list of 100? Booking parties, what do I say? I got a new teammate, now what? Finding your why, what's gonna motivate me when things get hard? Recruiting, how do I flip a hostess to a recruit? What's in a new teammate welcome kit? Booking parties, what supplies do I need? Trying everything I think and I'm feeling defeated. <laughs> Follow-up system, what's in a possibility packet? Follow-up system, what do I say? Any of those things of interest? Um, I like the possibility packet stuff, all okay. that stuff. All right, so possi maybe possibility packets and welcome to the team packets. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Can we do something with post coaching? Yeah. And maybe even new recruit coaching. I don't know if that's even a thing because everything okay. that you do is really coaching. But what about like, so like when you as a consultant recruit somebody, you're a new sponsor. Is that what you're saying? You want new sponsor training? Well, train the sponsor to train the recruit. Does that make sense? So coach the coach. I was going to say train the trainer. So coach train the trainer. I, I, train the trainer is the work. That's a work, you know. That's what I do all the time. <laughs> okay. But uh, my, my main problem is, is making sure that the new recruit knows what they're supposed to be doing, even though the first things first checklist is there, they don't always look at it. So getting them engaged that direction is, that's my even though they're not my direct recruits, they're still part of my team. And that's my goal is to get everybody on the same page. Yeah. That doesn't seem to be happening. Okay. Okay. Well, that's really good to know. Um, all right. So host is coaching. Um, coach the coach type thing. Or kind of like documenting um steps as a new sponsor okay so coach the coach or documenting new steps as a sponsor um host coaching welcome to the team packet possibility packets busily and then the workstation booking blitz and recruiting blitz okay um okay what about paid at title? Anything like that? Um, paid at title, understanding the compensation plan, um, walking through that, learning more about that. Yes? Okay. Comp plan, because I, I noticed that people were like, well, I'm active. <laughs> I'm like, but it's not the same. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's one order is not active unless it's 200. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Active versus active. <laughs> well, I think a lot of that has to do with the way that the dashboard displays in your first 70 days. Yeah. It's kind of difficult to understand that when you flipped over to the next month, your dashboard doesn't necessarily change unless you actually promote it. Right. Okay. So I think that's a, that's a, yeah. Okay. No, this is all great. I'm really happy that, that we, we kind of brought that stuff up because stuff like lifetime PRV versus just your monthly PRV, people are, are like, oh, I'm already over a thousand, you know, but, but I'm like, no, 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 you're a thousand in one month <laughs> or 2000 in one month, that type of thing. So Carrie, I, I, you know you just ju jumped back in. Uh, I don't know if you're listening or not, but I was asking for input on um, what trainings y'all want or need. 
Um, some of the things that we talked about were talking about um, the workstation, kind of maneuvering through the workstation, um, a more of a detailed tutorial like setting up busily and, and attaching it to the, gr the group and all that. Um, possibility packets and welcome to the team packets, uh, hostess coaching, and then kind of like coaching the coach. Um, so like a training on how to be a more consistent sponsor or a more uh, focused or intentional sponsor on specific steps. Um, another poor, another idea was um, talking more about the compensation plan, uh, paid at titles, active versus active, and then lifetime PRV versus monthly PRV. Um, do you have anything else you'd want to add or do those all sound okay to you? Good? Okay. All right. Well, I will um, go ahead and um, that's always on my, my to-do list at the very end of the month. So I'll be working on the two, um, the trainings, getting those set up on our team page, and then also um, the template for Visily. I'll get that set up as well and make sure everybody knows that that's been updated. Because um, I would like to see everybody using Visily, even if it's just one party per month. It's a free service to use for, you know, for free for one party each month if you wanted to, um, just to get your feet wet um, to try it out. So um, I definitely recommend it. And I am switching it up here and there. Um, and uh, anyway, I hope everybody's having a great week so far. I know it's just Monday, but um, I hope everybody's going to be really uh, great and consistent. And um, whatever y'all need from me, just let me know. And uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, guys.